Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this crypto report, we're going to be talking about my $500 to $5,000 challenge. But first, make sure you subscribe to your favorite channel on YouTube, Darnell Jackson Crypto. Okay, let's get over to a tweet that I sent out yesterday. This is the official beginning of the challenge. And I asked the question, what should I call my $500 to $5,000 challenge? It started yesterday. I bought I bought 3.485 soul. I paid 164 and 35 cent each. I got that on a limit buy order on Coinbase Pro. All right, so follow this challenge and you're going to get updated on how to do that. That means the purchase happened automatically. I didn't just go on there and uh and buy at that price. I set an order and sold the price of soul went down to 164.35. And I was going to do this challenge on Coinbase Pro, but I can't do screenshots using that app. It won't let me screenshot it. So I moved everything over to FTX, which really actually it makes sense. It makes sense because I'm investing in Soul and FTX, as you know, has Solana's back. All right, so let's jump over right now. We know what I paid. I'm just gonna go to Coinbase because it's really easy to look at this chart. So you can get an idea of where I came in. This is the last day. Let's take a let's take a long view. Obviously, Solana has been hitting it with the hockey puck technique. And it has really literally went to the moon when you look at where it was a year ago. Just to tell you the potential that you can only find in crypto. This coin was $3.61 on September 9th, 2020. $3.61 today is $2.71. That is a $5,500% a return. 5,500%. Look at that. What do, you, what, what do you call that? Is that a coincidence? We got the $500 to $5,000 challenge. We're starting with a coin that has paid a 5,500% return in one year. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to $5,000, but we started with $500. So let me show you what it looks like right now. I'm going to jump over to FTX. Shout out to Sam. Shout out to Sam at FTX. He's got to be right now the hustler of the year for what he's done with this amazing platform right now. So what did I do? I purchased my soul on Coinbase Pro and then I just sent it over. This is this is just for full disclosure. Let me move my big head down here. So what I did was I just went into my FTX account, I got my address, and I just sent the soul over to my FTX wallet. Now, I started off with about 500 bucks, and now because soul took off yesterday after the crash. Let's go let's go to one day on soul. It went up yesterday like 30%. It went from 164 what I paid for it, about 164. It went all the way up to over 210. Now it's come down a little bit down to 201. So I, I felt like I missed it on Soul, but I still jumped in after that dip and I was able to get a decent return. So now my $500, about 500, 500 and change. 
is about $700 right now. So we're already making some strides in the direction of $5,000. You got to subscribe to this channel. Share this video with people that you know who need to make some money. And I'm going to be sharing with you all of my trades. I'll be disclosing with you this wallet until I get it to 5000 And then I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see what happens. But I, I know that it's important to take $500 and grow it times 10. I know it's possible to do it in crypto. And so here we go. We're on the move. My, my first trade was yesterday. I'm already up a couple hundred. I will be disclosing all of the wins and losses. And uh, so let me just walk you through FTX a little bit. So that's the wallet tab. You can see me clicking it here. You got to go full screen on YouTube. Vertical is the future. And um, and you can see all the different assets you can send in. I started with Solana. You can start with any of the other coins. And when you click on it, you'll get your address that you can send your funds into. Now, one thing about FTX is it has all of the fancy trading options, so you can set fancy orders. Two things that I like about it. When it's time to sell, like for example, if I wanted to protect my investment, say I wanted to keep from losing what I've made, right? Because I've made about 200 so far on my Solana investment. So what I could do is I could go in here and set a sale order. I can say, hey, sell it. If it gets to if it gets to 195, I'm out, right? Or I could say 199, 99. Okay, and then I can say how much to sell? 100%. I can say sell it all, and then I, that'll keep me from losing in the event there's a crash. And I will be setting some some uh some orders that way that would be considered a take profit order sale order so i can set a take profit order i can set a take profit limit and i will be studying myself as well as we are learning this together all of these platforms are a little bit different they use slightly different terminology Coinbase Pro doesn't have the exact same options, um, but it has pretty much the same effect. So I will be reviewing with FTX what the specific differences are between a take profit and a take profit limit. Also, you have a trailing stop, stop market, stop limit. So I will, I will be, that's one of the things you'll get is you'll understand these different options in this challenge. I haven't set any sell orders yet so far. So that is one thing I like about FTX. Another thing I like is they have advanced charting. Even though I'm really not a TradeView fan, I like I like it in this I like how they have implemented it. I really don't like TradeView that much, but somehow the way they have implemented it here, it's not it's not it's not so bad. I don't I don't know how to how to say that, but you can enable trade view charting inside of FTX, which I think is super cool because it gives you much more detailed information. So I can click on the actual candle and it tells me the open, the high, the low of the prices. You can see it right at the very top. And it tells me the percent gain or loss on that particular candle. I'm looking at the four hour chart. So if I look at the one day chart, it tells me what happened. Each candle is one day of activity. So I can get a quick snapshot of what happened with the market. And that really makes it, that really helps your research. So those are the two things right away that I liked about FTX. Um, other than that, they're really straightforward. Uh, you could download the app FTX US. You can get the app um, as far as the coins, they don't have a lot of coins. 
But if you're trying to be successful, then maybe you should take a note from the most successful people in crypto. And actually, they don't invest in a whole lot of coins. So you can see what they have here available. Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Doge. Look at Doge. Doge hasn't made it back to 30 cents. Bitcoin Cash, Matic, Sushi, Uniswap, Link, Yearn Finance, it's got Rap Bitcoin, so it doesn't have a whole lot of coins. And I'm only focused on, show you my favorites, here are the coins that I'm primarily going to deal with, Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Matic, Aave, and I will consider the stablecoin DAI because I can move money from DAI back and forth to several different exchanges. Once we get to 5,000, we're going to move that money somewhere potentially, right? So we'll use DAI to get it out of here. Or maybe we'll put it in Bitcoin and send it somewhere else. But these are the top coins that I'm interested in, the top five coins and then the stable coin that they have. So my plan here is to DCA. I'm not really going to be doing very much trading. I'm going to be primarily DCA. So I'm going to be buying weekly. The concept is to obtain $5,000 for the lowest price possible. So the question is, how much would you be willing to pay for $5,000? I don't think I'll get $5,000 for $500. So I'm going to be putting in money every week in order to get closer to that number. I would be happy to get $5,000 in value after investing 1500 we'll see we'll see if my investments grow at a substantial pace there's a chance i could put in less than two thousand dollars and have a value in this portfolio of five thousand dollars right now the value is I, and i like this coin i like this also because i can click this and it shows my account value so this is cool you'll be able to follow this through the challenge right now I'm at 683 I'm sorry six how can you be numerically dyslexic six hundred and ninety three dollars and seventy six cent that's where I am right now with a about a let's just say about a five hundred and fifty dollar investment something close to I think it's right less than 560. So subscribe, post in the comments your opinions. We're gonna get to five thousand dollars. We're not gonna chase squirrely unknown coins. We're not going to use leverage. We're not gonna use margin. We're just simply going to DCA every week. We're gonna put some money in. We're going to try to put it in at the lowest price possible. And we're going to primarily hold. We may take do some selling where we need to. If we see some big crashes coming, we'll probably sell, get out of the way, and then jump back in when the price dives. So that's the, that's the loose strategy as the weekly episodes post. I will share more info on what on what I'm doing. I want to thank you for liking this video. If you didn't like this video, make sure you watch all my other videos. I got daily videos on crypto. So start watching them and keep watching them until you find one that you like. If you don't like none of them, then just share every video that you watched with somebody who will until tomorrow one